Good morning, church. We're here to pray our devotions to our mother for pet wealth, and certainly during this pandemic, we need her more than ever to intercede for us. So let us offer up all of those who are suffering with the virus, those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. Let us also pray for all of the first responders, the medical people, the scientists, and all the people that serve our needs, like in grocery stores, and etc., etc. Let us begin, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Most holy and immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual and our, our help, our refuge and our hope. So we come to you today. We thank God for all the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother perpetual help, confident of your powerful intercession influence with God, obtain for us these graces. A strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for all eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mother, Mother of perpetual help, you continually sought the meaning of God's word and actions in your life. As we listen to God's word, may the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put his word in practice in our daily lives. Let us pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Mother, Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in time of temptation and at the hour of our death. Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother of perpetual health. Let us pray for our temporal ones. Mother of our perpetual health, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you, we implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, comfortably afflicted, beg your son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens, and to free us from our sufferings. For if it would be the will of God that we should suffer so longer, help us to endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. We had a little technical let us continue as we present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you changed water into wine at Cana in Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual health. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop David, our priest, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant us continued health of mind and body. Help the sick, especially those with the virus, to regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased and to all the souls of the faithfully departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us pause now to present our own prayers and petitions 
to our God. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace that you gave us. We thank, thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the church. We thank, we thank you, Lord, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings that we have been received. We thank, thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us thank our God for the great gift of our salvation, the gift of the resurrection. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, Mary our mother. mother. And let us pause to silently thank our mother of perpetual help for all the times that she interceded on our behalf and the blessings that we have received. Let us pray for the sick. Again, let us keep in mind, especially those suffering with the virus. Let us also pray for all of those who've had to put their um, medical procedures, surgeries, treatments, on hold because of the pandemic, including Father Bernie. Lord, look, look upon your servants, servants laboring under the body of Jesus, cherish and revive the souls which you have created, so that purified by their sufferings, they may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you, that he may protect you, above you, that he may bless you, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as our perpetual help. Mother, Mother of perpetual help, you have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of the Redeemer, but the mother of the redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us. As you held the child Jesus in your loving arms, so take us in your arms. Be a mother ready at every moment to help us. For God, who is mighty, has done great things for you. And his mercy is from age to age on those who love him. Our greatest fear is that in time of temptation we may fail to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear Mother, in obtaining pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Heart. Let us now stand and unite with Christians of all ages in praising Mary and committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant we beg you that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I just want to, um, if you don't yet have a copy of the Novena, also the active um, spiritual communion that we do, um, they will be available on our website for download. Um, we'll put a link, I will try to have Michelle put a link on our Facebook page to them, and you can um, download, print them out um, for your use. Um, may our God bless you through the intercession of our Mother Perpetual Help, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.